Here then is a secret plumber's trick on how to unblock a drain in seconds. No tools required. No, 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 stop. Don't be let down the sink. What to do then? This is an old trick my nan showed me when I was a wee boy. It's quite simple. If you've got a block sink, if there's any water above this waste part, mop it all out, get it down as low as you can. If it does drain away slowly, then let it go, let it make sure it's as empty as it looks. It will be stuck at a level where the waste trap goes round, but that's fine. Grab your old friend, the washing up liquid, and pour it down the sink. Okay, stick about half a bottle of it down there if you can. Okay, just keep going. And then what to do? We get the sink plug and we put it in here. Okay, plug it up. Now, what we're going to do is going to put two kettles of hot water in there, in the sink. Really hot, hot, hot. Okay, so you're going to need a bit of string around your plug or a chain so you can pull it out to let it all go. The idea is that that boiling hot water with that washing up liquid, get it right out, <laughs> will clear the fatty deposits that are possibly blocking your sink waste. Now, I'm not going to guarantee this works for everybody, but it did work a couple of times for me, Nan. But if you're stuck and it doesn't go, then I will now show you the proper ways to clear a blocked sink. Okay. First one then is take this trap off. Quite often they block inside that trap there and you've got to take it off. I know some of you are going, oh no, that means I need tools to get this undone and then I might not get it back properly, it might leak. I know, and it's nothing's easy in this life and DIY can be like that. It can put you off at the first hurdle. So when it doesn't go with what I've just showed you with the water and the liquid, you think, ah, I'll ring up plumber up. This is not too bad. I will just show you a quick video I've done on it a little while ago. It's very quick and easy and it doesn't involve any leaks. You just need one tool. That's all you need to buy to do it. Here we go. Now with this kind of trap, we can actually split it here and here and take it off easy. Normally they do undo by hand. You don't normally use a spanner on these. So it should just undo like so anti-clockwise with your hand. I like to loosen the top one first, then loosen the bottom one. Okay, I've got a little container under here because there will be a bit of water in this trap, just where it levels off between those two parts, okay? So we'll just undo the top one, do the bottom one a bit more, and we should see water coming out of it now. I think you can see it now, there's a bit of water that's in the bottom of the trap. Okay, I'll do that one completely, and then undo the top one completely. And away it comes. There it is. Okay, what we do then, take the trap out and bring it up to our washing up bowl and tip it out. So, before we put this back, just make sure the washer's okay. There's a washer inside there. Make sure it's not split or broken. We don't want that to be broken, otherwise it will leak. Okay, so make sure that's okay. But very worse if it is, you can wrap PTFE tape around there. If you sort of string it together, roll it, and it will make a kind of ball of string, and then you can wrap it around a desperate situation. But it's best to get a washer if that is broken. Okay, normally they stay together. There's another one uh, on the end where we took the bottom off there. There it is there. Make sure that one's okay as well. Then we're ready to proceed to put things back. So I usually offer it up loosely on the bottom there, which will get it started straight. I'm doing this one-handed as usual, <laughs> and uh, we we'll pop that one up there. Okay, and then we just do it up hand tight again. There's no need to do the grips, okay? You don't need footprints on this. I know sometimes I do nip them up with grips, but it's usually fine just to hand tighten it until it stops. Make sure the threads are not crossed, that they're okay, and that should be it now. So if you don't fancy taking the, the trap off, and I don't blame you, there's always the humble plunger. That's one of these things. By far though, my favourite is one of these. This is a pressure gun, which I really like, but once again, as it drawbacks, 
and that if you put too much pressure down you could possibly blow the seals on the trap. If you've got solvent welded joints on the pipe that will be fine but do be careful if you put too much pressure down there you could be back to square one with leaks from the waste. I'll just show you how one of these works. Uh, most DIY shops you can still get them and basically this pressure gun you pump the trigger so you fire. So you pump it on the trigger. Some of them may be a long tube and you pump it that way. And what it does, it builds up air pressure in there to clear your block waste. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of it. Um, you'll have these with it, little different size sockets. So I've got this one which is dead right for there. I can either go that way round or sit it in that way over the hole. My sink isn't actually blocked, but I'm just going to show you for demonstration purposes. So we'll put that on. Now, one other thing to remember, if if you just blow that waste with this gun, more than likely you're going to get water come back out of the overflow because as you push it, it's not going to hold the pressure and clear the blockage that's further down the line. So in order to clear the blockage, you need to get the full pressure and impact of the gun firing on the block. So I've got this made up. It's an old plastic nut with some plumbers mate in it. Uh, it's a bit gungy, but what I do is I stick that over the overflow hole like so. That makes a nice tight air fit. Now, don't pump the gun more than about four or five goes. I know you get more pressure that way, but if you go too mad, you'll blow all the waste off underneath and you'll be in right dire straits in. So, don't pump too high pressure. Place your gun over the hole. You know, we're assuming that our sink is blocked. Um, and then just hold that with the other hand like that and fire. And that should be it. Now, on this drawing, I'd just like to show you that one of the good points about having pressure gun is that quite often, if you've got a waste pipe that runs along into a stack, you'll get a blockage just here, just before it drops into the stack. And the gun then can blow, using air pressure, that block into the stack and run away. So it is very handy for that. Now, on to something else that can happen. Here we have our sink and it may well be blocked not because it's blocked here in the trap or even the pipe here but the gully is blocked outside this only happens obviously if you've got an outside gully it goes through a wall your pipe outside and what can happen is this gully they're often bricked up uh, they will fill up with water and block because you've got a blockage in it it goes off to the drain sorry about the crew drawing and it is a trap there it's like a grease trap they call it and you can take the grid off the top and put your hand down there with gloves <laughs> and pull the rubbish out and um, once that pipe is clear of the water it will run but once it's engaged in water like that and trapped in there uh, it will not empty because if you've got a slight slow blockage in here that might be just fairly fatted up but not too bad and we'll not have enough weight of water to push past and get into the trap the water will hold it solid in there so that's something to look at go outside and do check your actual cover take it off and have a look and see if that trap is blocked there okay now also a friend of mine had a washing machine and again if that goes into an outside gully like that the same and it's underwater pipes on the water uh, it will not run you can take the filter out first inside the machine make sure that's not blocked before you do that if that's okay go outside do have a check and make sure it's not underwater in a blocked gully now you're saying why did you call this such an easy title when really most of the time you've got to take the waste trap off or use pressure guns or whatever okay now the reason for this is simple just of late we've got the ability to see what other people have been watching on YouTube. I know you can just look anyway, but we've got this little facility now that shows other videos similar and what ones you're watching and what are getting the most hits and things like that. Now, as a few of us on YouTube been going a long time, professionals like myself, you know who they are, plumber parts, and we've got skill builder and we've got Alan Hart, some really decent fellows, know what we're talking about, you know you're gonna get the right advice of any of these guys. So it come to greet me the other day when I looked on there to see what people have been looking at. And it takes a lot, I will tell you, to get a million or two million views. Now, 
we've been on there for a long time. I've been on there for nearly 13, 14 years, and I've only managed to get two million on one. I know it sounds a lot, but that's over a long time span. And the same with the other guys, we, we get a million, two million, um, but only on odd ones and only over a period of five to six, maybe ten years even. So it grieved me to find that there was a video on there that was literally two months old with four million views. And that is the video with this title that I've just given this apart from just one word because I couldn't have it exactly the same. <laughs> and this guy uh, doesn't present himself to the camera or anything. He just goes straight to the sink, shows you the bit that I've showed you with the washing up leak, liquid and says that's it, job done. Uh, and that's it. So how can that be? It doesn't make any sense to me. I just can't get it how that can be. Is he got bots getting in there somewhere? You know these little computers that give him all these hits to make it up? I don't know. Or hundreds of millions of friends that are clicking it? I've no idea. Or is it all just genuine? Maybe he just does a better video than I do. Or we do. I should say. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's American, it could be, you know, English is not so widely accepted, especially not in America. A lot of Americans are not too keen on us. Uh, who knows? But anyway, all I can say is that this video annoyed me that it had reached that sort of figure. So I figured I would just try a title very similar and do the same sort of thing. And it's, as I say, just putting washing up liquid down the sink. Just something that my old nan showed me to do fair enough when I was about seven years old. <laughs> so it's nothing new. And uh, he, he calls himself a name. There's no picture of the guy. It's just there with four million views. Very annoying when we all work so hard and struggle, me and my friends out there, to get uh, as well as we can do on YouTube with the views that we get and we work hard for it and someone comes along with a video like that and scores four million but there you are i just want to bring it up and show you and that's what this video is all about really that's to say that you can do something really kind of silly like that and score and not even be a celebrity how's that i mean i know i'm a bit of a celebrity <laughs> Not that much. Anyway, that's about all though. Just thought I'd share that one with you. Uh, all my stuff you know where to go. Derek from 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.